Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between an amalgam and composite fillings. This is usually quite a hot topic in the ORE and MFDS examinations. So we'll be looking at the, the advantages and disadvantages of both these two very common materials used in dentistry. The majority of dental patients in the UK at some point had to choose between several filling options for their teeth. The contrast between amalgam and composite filling materials, the two most popular type of filling materials, will be highlighted in this video. These are viewed as straightforward restorations, placed chairside by the dentist, crowns, inlays and onlays which are indirect restorations are further choices and these are constructed in a dental laboratory by a dental technician and then subsequently returned to the dentist to cement into or onto the patient's tooth. So what are amalgam fillings? Also known as silver fillings or mercury fillings, dental amalgam is a mixture of various metals. These metals are mercury, silver, tin and copper. Approximately 50% of the amalgam is comprised of mercury. The mercury binds the metals together to enhance the strength and the durability of the amalgam restoration. It should be noted that when mercury is combined with the other metals, it forms a safe and stable compound which has been in use for over 150 years. In some regions of the world, like the UK, amalgam is still the material of choice for restorative work due to its efficiency and affordability. However, there have recently been issues with amalgam restorations related to mercury leakage in the body and environmental effects after disposal, with a notable improvement in its mechanical qualities for restoring posterior teeth, resin composites have emerged as an attractive op option to amalgam restorations. So what are some of the advantages of amalgam restorations? Well, they have a, clearly have a proven track record. Amalgam fillings have been used for over a century now. They're usually quite cheap. Amalgam generally costs far less than resin composite restorations. They tend to last much longer. On average, these fillings normally last between 10 to 15 years and are very strong and sturdy. The chairside time required to do amalgam restorations are generally quicker to place in comparison to composite restorations. So what are some of the disadvantages? Well, they clearly look very unsightly. Generally, amalgam fillings are easy to spot even if you aren't a dentist. Some people develop mild allergies or sensitivities to amalgams where there is a large cavity. As we know, that amalgam does not have any bonding properties and relies on undercuts during cavity preparation. So if you have a large cavity which has unsupported enamel, this can lead to tooth fracturing. Amalgam tattoos can also develop and these have been in the mouth for many years and can leave a dark tattoo in the area of a gum or cheek that is in direct contact with it. Some people can also develop reactions to amalgam such as lichenoid reactions. So what are composite fillings? Well, composite fillings are resin composite restorations known as white fillings or tooth coloured fillings and are constructed from a mixture of ceramic and plastic. These fillings ought to mix in with the tooth being restored, if properly done, using resin composites restorations, a skilled dentist will be able to aesthetically reproduce the natural form, tint and contours of your tooth. Because of this, composites have gained a lot of favour as a restorative choice. So what are some of the advantages of composite restorations? Well, they are clearly very aesthetic. These fillings can match the exact colour of your tooth to blend in fully. They also have adhesive properties, like unlike amalgam filling restoration, which do not have any bonding properties. These composite restorations can actually adhere to the tooth surface and is therefore held by a chemical bond, not, not a mechanical retention. Tooth preservation, so composite restoration have adhesive properties, which means that there's less need for removal of tooth structure during cavity preparation. There can be a good alternative to veneers. And as we know that composite bonding has become a very popular choice of treatment and has become so popular on social media that you can actually transform a smile without the need to use a drill on a natural tooth structure. Its bonding properties allows dentists to create new smiles, achieving the desired changes in the shape and the shade of the teeth after treatment. Some of the disadvantages, according to many studies, resin compos composite restorations can last between five to seven years before needing to be replaced. However, there are many variables at work which affect the longevity 
of the restoration such as patient diet, oral hygiene, their regimen and any parafunctional habits. Time. It takes much longer to place a composite restoration because it is very technique sensitive and moisture control is absolutely critical in order to achieve good bond strength with the restoration and the tooth. Costs. Composite restorations are much much more costly to place in comparison to amalgam. Overall composites have become a fantastic alternative to metal fillings and unduly damaging crown and veneer choices for renovating a smile in an era where aesthetics are at the center of many medical and dental treatments. Patients have the choice to arrive for their dentist dental visit and leave that same day with a new smile that has been custom made for them down to the size, shape and color of their teeth. Restorations made of composite resin can be quite important in tooth whitening procedures. Prior to fitting anterior composite restoration, patients are typically encouraged to have their teeth whitened. This allows the t dentist to choose a composite material that will naturally match the patient's new tooth color. It is important to note that composite restorations do not whiten when a patient is having teeth whitening treatment. Well, thank you very much for listening. I hope you have benefited from the video. If you have, then please kindly like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please kindly do so. And we'll be bringing more videos for you in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.